Hi again. Uh, I thought now would be a good time to answer some questions. Pay no attention to me. I'm trying to follow myself in the camera. But I thought now would be a good time to answer some questions. And I'll answer some simple ones. And I'll answer a few that are probably going to be a little bit more delicate in um, their telling. But that's okay. Uh, we're all adults here. So one question I get asked a lot, and I was really surprised that this, this comes up, is when will your body begin producing estrogen? You know, you're doing these hormone shots. It's bringing your estrogen level up. When's it going to start producing it? The answer to that is never. Um, my body is, will never produce estrogen without a lot of help, like you know, taking a lot of anabolic steroids or something like that. Uh, one of the things I've never really brought up in this whole process is that there's another drug that I take which is a testosterone uh, suppressor and it keeps my body from producing testosterone or at least it knocks it down to a, a very very low level and right now um, I could go over here and get my lab reports but uh, my testosterone level is five for a person my age, my testosterone level should be like 70. <laughs> so you've heard of low T, I have no T. My estrogen level on the other hand is uh, close to 400, it's 398. And maximum for estrogen is actually supposed to be like, you know, no more than 50. So I, I'm a little over. But no, my body will never produce estrogen. That cannot happen. And that's the same way if you're uh, female to male, you can never produce testosterone. You have to take the shots. Uh, maybe at some point in the future, uh, gene therapy will just go in and say, we're going to manipulate something and all of a sudden your, your testes begin producing estrogen and that's it, you know, you're done. You're, you start becoming a, a woman. Or you already are a woman, you're going to start physically becoming one. A, uh, another question that I get asked a lot is how long are you going to take injections? You know, how, how many years does this go on? And the easiest thing to say for at my age is the rest of my life, which you know could be more true than you imagine. I'm 57 years old. A lot of people say I don't, uh, don't believe that, but it is true. I'm 57. Most of the feminization that occurs from taking estrogen is going to occur in the first three to five years. So by the time I'm 62 years old, all the ch physical changes that are going to happen to my body will have pretty much happened. And then you just take estrogen basically because you're taking it. Because you don't want to have hot flashes, you don't want to go into menopause, you don't want to suffer all the same things that cis women who stop producing estrogen go through. However, at some point, probably when I'm about 72 or so, um, I'm going to sit back and go, eh, do I really want to take any more estrogen? I might take it, you know, every three to five years and figure out whether I want to go on or stop. There are advantages and disadvantages to it, and one of the disadvantages is is I would go into menopause, like I said. I would start having hot flashes. Uh, probably by that age, I won't be able to produce any more testosterone, period. There could be numerous reasons for that. So I'd be like every other cis woman in her 70s, you know, just no hormones in her body, which could or could not be a, a good or bad thing. We'll see. We don't know. Do we?